Hi, I'm Peter Malone for freedomforjournalists.com, and I'm very honored and very privileged to have Sarah Drew. She's an actress, and she's also played in the movie Last Call and Three Pines TV series. Welcome to the show, Sarah. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. So, what inspired you to start acting? Um, basically, when I was in high school, I loved performing. I loved dancing and never really thought acting was a profession. So in my second to last year of high school, they started this big performing arts department. So they had singing, dancing, and um, also music department, and they decided to put on a musical. So I auditioned for the musical, got cast, and while we were doing you know, the rehearsals of the play, I just absolutely fell in love with acting and then discovered that I could pursue it beyond high school. And um, during my, my three years of training, I continued to love it. So I decided to keep going once I graduated and just kind of kept going and auditioning and, you know, slowly booking work. So, yeah. So with that being said, um, how did the transition go? Like, did you go from Hollywood or did you start applying for stuff in Canada or how did that go? How did you make the jump from Montreal to, uh, to the, the big step of Hollywood? Yeah. Uh, like, so basically what I did is I, I got an agent in Montreal and then after working there for a few years, I decided to do the next step, which was Toronto. So I moved to Toronto and that's where I met Gavin and we stayed in Toronto for a couple of years. I auditioned there and then after that, we decided to make the leap to Los Angeles. It was after we made our movie, The Stair House, which we shot here in Windsor, Ontario. And uh, we shot. Uh, we ended up uh, selling that movie to Universal Studios, so we were able to go to Los Angeles, get some meetings, and then um, move there and start working there professionally. So it was a few steps. It took about, I would say, almost ten years before uh, I made that step in my career. But um, you know, it's you eventually get to that place, so it just made sense. So with you being in Hollywood and uh, doing uh, sets there and movies and TV shows there mm -hmm. and uh, being a production in Windsor, did you notice any difference between uh, production over in Hollywood over in Windsor? Like, how was it to you from the comparison show? Yeah, well, a lot of the productions that I do, well, all the productions that I've done in Windsor are with Gavin, are independent films. So there are definitely a lot of differences in that there's a lot less people on set, the budgets are much smaller, but I'm also usually a producer on those films too, so I get to be more involved in the production aspect of those films, which is really fun. And then when I'm working on bigger sets, I'm, you know, most of the time I'm just an actor, so I show up, I do my job, and it's a wonderful experience, but it's just a very different experience than having you know, many hats during a production or having a, um, a little bit more say in the uh, creative process. But I have noticed a lot of similarities too, where, you know, sometimes I'm on a set that's much lower budget and you're like, wow, I feel, uh, or uh, sorry, on a much higher budget film. And I, and I say, wow, I feel like this could be done <laughs> with like way less people. So, you know, there's, there, there are similarities between like those big sets and the small sets. But with this set, how do you feel? This set, it's great. It very, it reminds me of a lot of our <laughs> independent films that we made in Windsor, where you know, with Last Call, which was our one take film, we would show up and you know, on a big day we were maybe eight crew people, and on a small day we were four. So it was you know, it was a very very small kind of intimate group of uh, of crew and actors. So you were in Stairhouse and Last Call. Were those the only two movies you were in? No, yeah, I've done a lot of other films. Um, one of my first movies that I ever did, which was shot just outside of Montreal, was called Deadfall. There we go, I remembered. It starred uh, Eric Bana and Olivia Wilde and Charlie Hunnam and Chris Christopherson. And Sissy Spacek is like a huge movie. So that, that was one of the first movies I ever got cast in when I started my career. And from then, um, I've done a lot of movies, like Movies of the Week here in Canada. I did a couple movies in the U.S. while I lived there. I did a, got to do a movie with um, Luke Hemsworth, one of the Hemsworth 
brothers, which was fun. So yeah, I dabbled in uh, quite a few features. So. And then you were in uh, the TV show Three Pines. Three Pines, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that was the last kind of big, big uh, role that I got to play. It was one of my first uh, series regulars, so I got to do um, a series regular early on in my career on a French soap opera that I shot in Montreal. And then I got to do this role um, for Amazon Prime based on a series of books uh, by Louise Penny. So it's very much like Fargo meets uh, Twin Peaks. Oh, there's a murder that happens in a small town every episode and uh, we have to solve it. So it's, it's very quirky and fun and, and kind of um, otherworldly as well. There's kind of the creepy, mysterious aspect to it. And that was in 2022, and that was in Montreal, just uh, close to your old hometown. Correct. Yeah. So we it came out last year in 2022. I shot it in 2021 from September to December. Uh, like you said, just um, very close to where I grew up. So I was able to go back home and shoot on this, you know, big television show, and also hang out with my family. So that must be a nice, warm feeling to see your family and just we'll go back and all. Yeah. yeah. Now, with you being back close to your hometown, all that. Where people think, oh, it's Sarah Boo. Look, it's just Hollywood star and all that. <laughs> like, anything like I think once I got cast in Three Pines, a lot of people were excited and, and definitely, um, you know, would love to talk about it and, and pull me aside. So that's definitely, definitely been, you know, one of the roles that people will recognize me from. Um, so it feels good, you know, when people, when people like the show and want to talk to you about it. Does it feel different though? Because when you came back, when you left, you were just uh, making somebody for yourself, like making becoming a star. Mm -hmm. But now you're a star there. Does it feel different being a star coming off your hometown? That's what I was trying to get at. <laughs> it, I mean, it does. I, I mean, I don't really consider myself a star, but thank you. I'll you're take welcome. it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it, it's fun because, you know, it's such a hard industry to be a part of. So when people get to see you on TV mm -hmm. and get to see you succeed at something that you know, a lot of people try to to become an actor and it's very hard. Even if you're extremely talented, sometimes it just doesn't work out. So I think people just really get excited to to see someone that they know that's, you know, living up their dream. So it's been really nice to meet up with, you know, people that I went to high school with and uh, catch up and, you know, see how excited they are. And that show is possibly getting nominated for an uh, Emmy? Yes, uh, the show was submitted for Emmy nominations. So we were submitted for Best Series, the Art, Direction, and Performance, and the Music as well on the show. So okay. the voting is happening right now, and then uh, they get the nominations get announced July 12th. Well, good luck to you, yeah. Thank you. I would love to see a show with you and uh, Gavin on set doing something. Right. Uh, Think maybe it might happen. No. Nope. Maybe we'll have a reality show about our crazy, uh, our crazy lives. <laughs> um, okay. Well, thank you for taking the time out to come on the show. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, I'm Peter Malone. And how can people uh, follow you? Sure. Um, the best way to kind of stay in touch and follow my career is on Instagram. I definitely post a lot about you know what's going on there. So my uh, Instagram handle is at Sarah Film Booth. So that's probably the best way. Okay, thank you once again, Sarah Booth, for coming on my show. And if people want to like and subscribe my button on YouTube, they can find me at Freedom for Journalists. And they also can find this interview at freedomforjournalists.com on my website. Thank you. Thank you.